Michael, we know that networking is a key ingredient when finding a job. So that's how we met uh, on LinkedIn. I saw you on one of uh, great other uh, broadcaster, Julian Placiano, where he interviewed you and I liked the conversation and then I reached out to you and now you are here. So it's yeah. all about networking and building relationships. In that sense, what tips you can give to job seekers? There are a majority of them now are online. All the events or uh, meetups are happening online. What can they do to reach out to people? Uh, is there any specific strategy they should be uh, using? Yeah, sure. So you know, I um, I think that uh, if if you roll the clock back about twelve months, mm -hmm. I wasn't very good at this. Um, in fact, the very person you just mentioned, Julian Placino, uh, said to me, "Why is it that the founder of Teladoc only has eight hundred followers on LinkedIn?" And I just shrugged. I don't know. <laughs> and and he said, "You need to fix it." And he said, "When you do, you'll understand why." And so now I'm approaching five thousand five hundred. So I've added a lot of uh, a lot of uh, LinkedIn connections yes. this year. <laughs> and, and what I find is everything that I post, every qu request that I have has hundreds of responses. Mm -hmm. And for you know all of those people that are either job seekers or looking for resources, the um, LinkedIn tool has gotten better and better. Yes. Five years ago, we all hated it. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's, it's one of the best resources. And you know, you, you said it, Maher, you and I connected because of LinkedIn. Yes. We've never met in person. No. Um, we might end up becoming great friends. And I've made lots of really good friends that I've never met because of LinkedIn. Yeah. And so I, you know, I would say, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're an artist, if you're an engineer, or um, if you're an astronaut, the, uh, the opportunities are, are pretty significant. Yeah. Yeah I, totally I have, like that. yeah, I have a lot of friends now that I interviewed even on, because of LinkedIn and we never met, but we keep, stay, keep in touch. Yeah. Is there any specific way when they're approaching to us, you know, it, we know that on LinkedIn you can send a request. Do you think that they should send also a message in the uh, request or just send random request? I, so I have, I have very specific type of uh, connections that I want to make. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, the one thing about LinkedIn is a lot of people connect just because they want to sell you something. Yeah. And I don't think that's the appropriate, you know, I, I usually accept those types of connections, but, um, but in reality, networking is more about how can I help you? Yeah. And, um, and you know, it's been my experience in life and in business that the more I help others, the more um, things come back to me. And so I always take that approach in my LinkedIn connections. It's a mutual it relationship. You're building a relationship. And I always give advice that if you are sending a request, say something, you know, I saw you interviewing somewhere, I saw your book, or I saw your webinar, or if you haven't seen anything, right. we have a common interest, you like football, or we went to the same university, something that will right. break the ice. Right. I think that's better than just sending random requests left and right. Sometimes I get requests without any messages. I, I wonder what's the benefit, what can we do here? Sometimes I accept, sometimes I don't, but I feel that if there is a message, that will help uh, for the receiver to acknowledge what is this request about. Right. And I'll tell you one other thing. I wanted to get on an accelerated path. Mm -hmm. And so I went out and found um, one of these resources on LinkedIn that helps you mm -hmm. with LinkedIn. I used a group called LinkedIn Superpowers. Again, mm -hmm. um, the, the, uh, the entrepreneur who's building that is named uh, Dennis. I've never met him in person. He's become a friend, though. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we help each other quite a bit. So um, if, if you have a few extra dollars, that's probably the way to do it is hire somebody who's really good at it. Yes. Um, and, and, and I would do the research, you know, when I got ready to hire uh, Dennis at LinkedIn Superpowers, I did a little background research on him to make sure, because there's a lot of people that claim they can do it. And, yeah. and I got lucky and, and found one on the first try who really could. So a lot of my, um, uh, 800 connections to 5,300 connections happened because of Dennis. 
Yeah, those are great. Thank you for those great tips, Michael. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Michael.